ability is that change. Okay. Depending on the stance. So, Chuck, with this then, I mean, this is a bit of a different one for you guys because normally you have a lot of backstory and things you have to, you know, go towards yeah, yeah. in terms when, of design. When, when AJ says it, a fun thing about her is that she has no lore, that's fun for us. Because it gives because us space <laughs> to play. We have less, yeah, things you boxing us in, right? right? So then we were like... Ah, skin, a minha verdade, a skin da Punch também é bem legal. Agora vamos ver a personagem nova, galera. Ah, tá com cara de guerreira ali, né? Ah, well. Entendeu os novos hoje? Já tá passando. Feminino, um, and then also we didn't want her whacking people with the staff, so her in hand is kind of an interesting way to just slow your roll. He's there, doing the both. He's doing both. The, the pan around both. You know what? He, he we went a little early. Start maybe. out. It is cool oh, that the bear has good. the same like hair. Like what you like the hair ornaments. That was another Druid thing has. that I'm sure Chuck was going to go into. Where we were ah, é, eu não, é porque eu não vi o ícone mágico ali. Ela é guardião. É porque meu microfone fica na frente daquela parte esquerda inferior ali. É guardião, tem uns ícones mágicos ali. Foi mal, desculpa. É guardião, tem um ícone mágico ali, ó. Se fosse físico, estaria um ícone físico. I've been there with my dog, I don't like so that. So, her in hand, <coughs> instead of her dog. doing like a whack, she kind of does this magical <coughs> spiral that she can zap people with. And it's great because guardian basics are magical, and this one really feels magical. And she's a guardian. She's a guardian. She's a guardian. So, I've mentioned that, that, yes, guardian. The okay. clothing was, was to help convey it. So, a bear guardian also. and a bear, we see the autos in both the forms. Uh, passive AJ, I guess I'm going to come to you for this first of all. What ela tem uma transformação, ela so, se transforma um, e usa. Before we get going a little bit, just to mention that those UI elements are not quite done. É guardiã. I've actually already seen them. They'll be in the. Mago não é porque tipo os stats dela de HP pelo menos 2.500 level 20 ali não é de mago e eles acabaram de confirmar que era guardiã. Eu pensei que fosse guerreira, mas eu não estou vendo direito ali. Agora eu acabei vendo que é mago. The cooldowns of her other stance. Huh. This is going to let you know when it's optimal for you to switch back. So instead of guessing or trying to keep track or something kind of feeling it out, you will yeah. actually be able to see, oh, my bear dash is back up off cooldown now. I can switch and use it. Okay. Which is going to be really cool. But then her actual passive, um, which doesn't require a meter, is a debuff that applies to all of her abilities. So anytime she hits an enemy god with an ability, she's going to apply a stacking protection debuff to them. Right. And um, one of the things we learned when we first started designing this god as kind of an intro to her kit is that a stance switching guardian that has six abilities is just inherently going to feel really bruisery. They have so many Notice. abilities they can use all the time. They're going to be in the combat. They're going to be fighting a lot. So uh, she has a lot of parts in her kit you'll see where we have kind of large stacking buffs that require her to stay in combat and be landing many successful abilities to really see the full potential. It's really to encourage her to stay and brawl for long periods of time. Okay, and that debuff is, what does that exactly do? So it's called Decompose, her passive, and is anytime she hits an enemy god with an ability, she applies a stack of per percent protection reduction, both protections. Okay, so it's not just one, it's both. It's both, and it's percent base, okay. so, and it stacks up to eight times, I believe, at like 3% per stack. So it's really cool because late game, it translates really well. Well, let's start going for the abilities. I'm stay in human form and go through all the human abilities first before we go into bear form. I think it's probably the best way here. Mm -hmm. Well, wait, hold on. And oh, the on. idea with that, right, is that basically she's going to stay in the combat to keep fighting, but she's mostly fighting to set up everyone else to more be damage. able to do more damage. So right. she's more of a damage dealer here as a guardian, like a more like a frontline bruise that's there to shred. Definitely. And then the fact that she doesn't have an alt means she doesn't have that like huge burst. Sure. So you get, instead you get a lot more sustained disruption and sustained damage. She's okay. not just going to, you know, Bacchus flop, <laughs> jump in and do 100% in one second. She's much more sustained. Okay. Well, first ability then is called Energy Surge in Druid form. And Fishman, talk me through what this is going to do. Sure. So as we were talking about, um, she is a classical stance switcher. So one of the things we want to do is we want to keep the targeters consistent between the two stances. Sure. So you can kind of use one to set up the other one and know that they're going to be in the appropriate range and kind of line it up. Gotcha. So um, her first one is a cone attack. And what she's going to do is she's going to, we're playing up the 
um, like life essence um, theme with her rather than like plants and vines and physical manifestations of nature. We're instead trying to do this like spiritual, like I'm pulling your, your life essence. So what she's going to do is she's going to hit her enemies um, and then her allies that are within 55 of those enemies, which is basic attack range, basic attack range, are going to get heals for each energy for each enemy she hits oh, really? as, as well as herself. Mm -hmm. um, she's also going to get those heals. So she has to notice po pawn coincidentally. As tradução, mano, nem eu entendo direito. Yeah, he did a very good job here. Pawn <laughs> 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 So actually you'll see that when you hit the god it sends out the wisps to right. every including RTO and all allies and there's That's one there's three from that Odin but when he hits tudo indica que ela consegue dar um dano no adversário e curar o aliado né com o dano que ela deu So this is a, a team heal but only é um suporte for hitting enemy gods Então o mestre tem uma habilidade de suporte né Only gods and the teammates have to be in right. proximity right. to the hit This, this is, is our newest iteration of a true combat heal Okay. Now with this as well, because somebody will damage to creeps and things like that, but just doesn't get yes. the heal, right? So it's, it's definitely good just for lane clear, just for dealing damage, but okay. um, you won't get the heal unless you do that. So that's the energy surge and druid form and the number Qual one. Qual lane se encaixaria melhor? Nem sei o kit de habilidade dela, tem que saber. E os stats, tudo. We really went life force with her, but we had to have a little nature. So the vines... One thing we really wanted to do with guardians is bring back a cripple. Okay. We really, um, guardians are good at lockdown. And we don't have that many notable cripples. Mm, well, ela vai enraizar, aparentemente. Artio is the new premier cripple guardian. She has this persistent area she summons around her. So it moves oh. with her. Ela vai criar uma área em volta dela. Será que enraiza? Ah, enraiza uh, yeah, lá. Really cool Mike, kind of yeah, energy vines. É um controle interessante, falei que estava sem rir. Bearform, quickly, just yet, because I'm just asking you questions. I'm like, if I change the... Yes, you can. Pong can go ahead and demonstrate. É um controle interessante. Yes, so as you engage, I even like to activate it a little before I engage and then charge into people. Um, really prevents them from escaping. And it's also you can use it defensively. You can like see a Sobek dash. É para ficar bonitinho, né? Hit it and get cancelled out of it because when you dash into a cripple, so it's very much like Poseidon Circle as a persistent cripple. Very strong, but does no damage. Okay. This ability does not do her two. Isso é slow. Eles estão falando de cripple. Eu não sei se Raiza e da e Aleja. Aparentemente em Raiza e Aleja, entendeu? Então tipo o adversário não pode usar escape. Eu não sei se é slow e, e ele fica impossibilitado de usar escape, porque até mesmo porque não tem como ver se o personagem está se movimentando ali, né? Is called Mas aparentemente ela aleja e raiva. Então, de novo, nós estamos jogando nesse essence theme. A sua 1 vai curar os seus aliados e os aliados. A sua 3 vai curar ela. Se ela atingir um inimigo, ela vai fazer várias coisas. Uma das coisas é que ela vai curar ela. Você pode ver as wisps de novo. Olha, recupera HP. Que legal. Ela também está curando o inimigo. O que você não está vendo desse range é que ela também está curando eles. E se ela atingir eles por todos os 5 ticks, eles vão ficar curados no final. E se você pensar sobre isso, and if you think about it, that slow and that root are going to combine very well with that cripple we just saw. Será que João vai pegar a mancha verde dos gráficos do Elo? So it feels like very free Roman to balance the guess out of that ability and knock up the spell. She's not immune to anything. Okay. And if she lines it up, she can actually hit both Odin's like one through the other. So they're not. You can hit as many enemies as you want. And this is a you know really cool kind of combo ability where you have to keep it on someone. It's kind of a tractor for sure. Yep. You have to keep it on a moving target, and they'll be swerving and jumping. Tem bastante sustain. It's so legal. Dá para jogar na solo. It's kind of a slow a slow two root and this is really her only good way to um, engage from range okay so it's a good way to start a slow a fight. that becomes a root if you connect the whole thing and it heals her no teammate heals on that no teammate just her okay i was a little bit worried that it's like because he heals for days it's so. a strong slow okay yes I, does the slow just look increase as it goes on or right. it does it's flat? stacking slow okay. yeah it, it stacks all the way up to the root all right well that's um the third oh, ability in druid i guess we should move to the bear form then yeah so we can talk about ability four, which turns her do into you, the bear. That's, do we need to save all the names? Just turns into a bear, or we do? More. Oh, there's more, there's more to it. Yeah, all. But wait, there's <laughs> more. Yeah. Okay. But wait. So all stance changers have the ability four, but you have to rank it up. So we put we put things on that ability to encourage you to put points into it, and this is uh, plays into well what I was talking about as far as her kind of general design and her passive theme. So her um, four shapeshift right. when you activate it transforms between her bear stance and druid stance. When you put ranks into it, you get a passive buff, which is a stacking buff, which is any time she hits an ability, which so makes that a buff. Passive, she needs to hit enemies with abilities. She gets movement speed and MP5. 
Okay. And this is specifically designed Keeps it in combat technique. It has four second duration and eight stacks, which as you'll notice, eight stacks is actually a lot of uses of the ability. You can yeah. only get one stack of her passive per ability use. Okay. So what this really does is encourages her to stay in combat, to time her abilities. I'm gonna say so much another stance, this, which which rotate through them, yeah. switch back. You you really have to go through more than a whole rotation to fully stack it. But if okay. you do you're going to notice that she's going to have a really strong base movement speed and she's going to start gaining her mana back really quickly. Really helps in the late game. Um, and it's one thing you won't notice if you're just jumping into a fight. Não, não é tipo da terra porque, assim, é e não era. A terra aplica os aliados, né? O dela aplica só ela. It's, uh, it's one, one, two, two, three uh, percent okay. per stack. Right, that's what I was saying, because it's one, two, two, three. I wasn't sure if that was percent or, like, actual, like... It's, it's percent. Roll. Yeah, it's percent. We Pon always do movement speed buffs in percent. Pawn here is showing us with the three that actually, as you multi-hit with that, you're actually getting multiple stacks of that passive. Are you right now? Up. Yeah, it's, it's maxed at eight. Ela, essa we'll ultimate dela é algo passivo, entre aspas, né? Ela vai, conforme ela vai fazendo as ações ali, vai ganhando esses benefícios. Então não é uma ultimate ativa. Você vai, tipo, destrói a parada toda. Não é aquela ultimate que você vai soltar uma coisa bombástica no mundo. It for the old, I guess, and then it's going to say la, which is Mole Prey. Yeah, Mole Prey. Yeah, Mole Prey. So, what we're going to do here as we're a bear, we're going to lose this life essence tapping that we had as a druid, and instead, we're going to lose the ability to form a druid. So, you can contest. I mean, it's classic bear, right? So, like, exactly. And if you pay attention to the effects of the animation, they're actually okay. They have a travel time like the Chunga sweep and two golfs in the area. There's actually an interesting trade off because one now, also, they have abilities propias there, guys. If you put it on one edge. You're my best. Well, no, it's, it's, you're going to hit him either way, but if you put him on one edge, there's more of a gap for the first hit and, and less of a gap towards the second one. Gotcha. But if you do it the other way, then there's um, uh, more of a gap in between. Um, so either way, but you, you, as long as they're in the cone, you'll hit him both times for double the damage. As long as it's 1.5, I think, total damage. Okay. This is a, it is double. Is it? It's each hit hits the same amount. And that's just yeah. raw damage. There's nothing else to that. Tudo vai ser sorteio de 19 horas, eu acho. É, por aí. Ela é guardiã. Não, a ultimate dela é uma passiva, galera. Tipo, é um, é um bug que ela ganha. Caraca. Está mais bugado que eu. Between stances, but she will not get the passive effects of shapeshift until you put one point. Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure of that because it's like one of those questions that sometimes can happen where you're like, hey, actually, you've got to hit five before you can become a bear. She gives you a little bit of strength. Será que dá para fazer jungle? Não sei. Yeah, she gets two abilities at level one, makes her early game pretty strong. Okay, well, attack me vines was a human for ability two. What's ferocious raw, AJ? I'm guessing it's very simple. Well, it is, and you know what she's kind of lacking right now is just some quick hard CC. So this is just a quick AOE stun. Oh, an AOE stun. AOE stun. It, now these. Uh, Holy moly! How long is the AOE stun for? That's a. It is Holy scaling moly. up from it ranks one. Up. Oh jeez. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I've got it here. One to one point four seconds. Yeah. yeah. I didn't mean to put you on the spot uh, like that. It's it okay. was more like I was it's like, right. how does that go? And it's also going to give her a self protection buff afterwards that she oh. can also retain if she switches stance. No, it's crazy. So she's got the self protection buff still on her. A ult dela muda de não escreve em caps lock que o bot tira. It is actually pretty tough to get that. It's it's very tough to get multiple targets on it. For for a single target, yeah, you can hit that. But hitting multiple people with it is can be quite often that it's a very small area. She really needs to get in position before she can use it effectively. Also, no damage. Also, no damage on first is right. Correct. Sure. This is looking great. I'm I'm excited to go and play this right now. And then the that's the second ability. This is the third ability. Which is the heavy charge in bear form? Sure. So when we had the druid three, what we had was an ability to engage from distance um, by locking them down with a rune. And this is kind of the antithesis and of that approach. And line shaped. Sure. Mm -hmm. Line shaped. What we're going to do here is we're going to dash into them, um, and we are going to do. O urso é a ult, a ult que tá. A, ult, a 3 dela vai salvar da ult do Hades. Por que vai salvar da ult do Hades? Eu 
So you can cancel that out as well. So if I go two into three in bear form, sorry, two into human form, into bear, into three in bear form. Into two. Yes. How much attack you and how much mage they are also? Yes. On okay, top yeah. of your enemies and they're crippled and stunned. Gotcha. So you can charge them. Não é a ult dela, não é o urso, não. Eu, eu acho que ela se transforma em urso yeah, com. Eu, really cool, like, eu, eu posso estar errado, mas tem algum. É uma passiva para se transformar em urso ali. Não tenho certeza, mas. A ult dela não é o urso. Até mesmo porque ela pode transformar de, em urso várias vezes, entendeu? Ela não, não é ultimate urso. Seriously, os caras estão falando. A passiva da ult é cada habilidade acertada ganha um stack. Mais um de 8 stacks dá um movement speed de MP5. Sim, sim, é porque o pessoal no chat falou que a ult dela é o urso. Mas não é exatamente o urso. Ela pode se transformar, mas a passiva da ultimate dela, que é entre aspas a ultimate em si, ela... Ela precisa ser estacada. Não, ela troca de instância, o Matheus, é diferente. Não é ultimate. Hela não tem ultimate. Uller não tem ultimate, entendeu? Ela não tem uma ultimate. Ela troca de instância. O que seria o efeito do ultimate dela é estocar a, com as habilidades. Não é tipo, porque se for, se você for falar que transformar em urso é ultimate, a gente vai logo pensar que ela vai poder só transformar em urso quando ela tiver a ultimate pronta. Não, ela troca de instância no botão 4, assim como ela. E o Uller. E o Tyr troca na, na 3 dele. Mas os efeitos que são de fato a, a ultimate, entendeu? Ela vai trocar de instância ali no botão plata. É um personagem instanciado. A DLC de textura para ficar bonita é para melhorar a peça, para ficar bonita. Não, o Tyr tem ultimate sim. Quando, quando existe essa troca de... de... Chama instância, tá? O personagem tem duas instâncias. Vamos ver isso então. Eu, sim, digo ultimate porque é a quarta habilidade, mas é a instância mesmo. É a instância, não é ultimate. Virar o urso não é a ultimate. Ela tem uma passiva na ultimate, mas virar o urso não é a ultimate, entendeu? Não, o Tyr tem ultimate, tem. O ultimate dele, ele salta. O Uller, o Uller não tem. Nem o Uller, nem a Hela tem um efeito de ultimate ativo, de castar uma habilidade. Assim como essa personagem também não tem um efeito de castar uma habilidade. Ela ganha efeitos passivos. Ela é deusa da abundância. Agora, se ela só se transformasse em urso e ao se transformar em urso ganhasse os benefícios quando ativasse a habilidade 4 dela, aí sim seria uma ultimate. De fato, é como se fosse. Vamos colocar aqui a transformação. Quem tem uma transformação com a ultimate? Que me fugiu a cabeça aqui. Alguém tem transformação com ultimate? Tipo um bacassura da vida. Não, não tem. É, poderia ser, tipo, talvez sim. Aí seria uma ultimate, de fato. O Fafnir. Exatamente, o Fafnir Spectro. Se ela fosse como o Fafnir, que se ativasse a ultimate, transformasse no urso e aí ganhasse os benefícios e depois de um tempo saísse, Aí sim seria uma ultimate. 
quando ela se transforma e fica nesse estado e, e pode usar novas habilidades daquela forma ali, ela é uma instância. A ultimate do Faf não deixa de ser uma troca de instância também, porém é uma troca de instância em uma ultimate, que tem um tempo limitado para ele ficar ali e aí depois ele destransforma. Isso daí não, ela troca ultimate, acho que ela pode ficar Daquela forma ali Pelo menos não aparece nenhum ícone de que ela vai perder a transformação É uma troca de instância And now, new god gonna be unleashed, and this should be PTS. That's the next question that everybody always cares yeah, about. When is really PTS not. ready? That's, that's, that's Chris's call, yeah. It's, yeah. Follow you know, him on Twitter. Sometimes it's up, it's like ready to go now. Sometimes yeah. we don't Any know. rough idea? Like, come on. Hopefully tonight, maybe tomorrow. Come on, Chris. We're Everyone tweet it, Chris. We honestly, Getting like, stuff yeah. done, Hindu. I know, We're I know. Like, QA is yes, at their desks, furiously verifying it right now, so they can put Listen, it live. You can always so, ask, you do the hype show as well. It's like, not like they have a bad signal play. for the PTS to...